Hey everybody, Travis here. Uh, figure around and find out. That's Heather on the camera. And a uh, brief video by my standards, keeping it longer than a minute because YouTube makes things under a minute a damn short and that makes my ass hurt. But uh, if you have been following along uh, on the channel, then you've watched us talk at length about the composting and the mulching and the broad forking and what it has taken to turn this hard I'm talking about harder than a preacher's dick and a cat's ass fucking North Georgia clay into arable soil now it's just now starting to get warm around here in growing zone 8 newly updated growing zone 8 North Georgia but uh, so we're not out here for a full work day, but we're just sort of checking the property and, you know, doing this and that and planning for the year. And out of curiosity, uh, I decided to see how much difference there was in the soil this year. Because, again, if you've watched the channel, you've, know, you've, you've seen the videos where we've talked about how at first... These 14 inch tines could only go about eight inches down, even with me standing on the cross. Jumping up and down on it. <laughs> yeah, and then that would pop up this clay divot, which you then had to put back into the hole with the wrong part down to keep it from just nestling back in place, which we then had to go over and hit with the rototiller uh, on extended loan from our dear friend Bob. And, uh, two years of that shit and each year it got a little better and a little better uh did we rotate till last year we didn't rotate till last year i think we did the new part but not these i don't remember anyway if i'm wrong about what has and has not been tilled two versus three times or what i think we tilled everything one more good time because remember we put down the last year i think yeah that's right so so last year, this was all broad forked and rototilled for the second time. We had about a three or four inch application of, of hot compost that we made last year. And we've added mulch too. And, and I've, I've done just a few passes. I'm not going to come out here and do the whole garden. I'm not even going to do an entire section. But nevertheless, in this, old, in this oldest portion of the garden i want to show you the difference that it's made and then just for curiosity we're going to go try the newest section and see how that is can i just interject here for a second and say look we've done so much work on this that even in the winter when we're not even really messing with the beds yeah there's a couple of little weeds in there but there's not many mm -hmm. yeah and we're going to mulch it heavy in again this year too even heavier we're going to mulch ahead of planting this time instead of trying to play catch up but now just so you see, I'm I'm not in a pre-existing hole here. I'm going to back up a little bit here. All right, so that's first. Looky there. Straight down. Bar deep. I didn't have to stand on it. I mean, next to no weight. Now, the tines are still not coming right up through loamy soil the way I want. It's still going to pull up a chunk, but what? That's 14 inches deep. That's the whole section. And look at and that. And done. Get that where I had to back up to get some new ground there. See, look at that. We're, there's still... There's still work to be done, but man, what a massive improvement. Just over one season, guys. Well, that's actually two. Well, is, yeah, it the is two. The culmination of two seasons worth of work. But look at that. I mean, that's exactly what you're looking for. Well, exactly well, you please, what we please, would be. Rem please also bear in mind that our soil right now is very wet because it has rained here recently. Yeah, actually, I had wondered about that too. This drying out might make a difference. But even with it having rained just a few days ago, I mean, still, that's coming up really nice. And look how dark and rich that is. There's our earthworms. We got all kinds of life going on in there. <laughs> Man. So, yeah. Much to my delight. Surprise and delight. Well, I can't say surprise because, I mean, we've... God, there's worms all in that shit. Hell yeah. You know, we've done the reading. We've watched... It's not like we haven't been, you know, doing our YouTube homework. Channels, We're not just you know, blind, we, flying, we know, completely blind. 
we know that compost works and mulch and these things to improve soil texture and nutrient content and shit like that but nevertheless to see it really working you know it's going to happen it's still cool to see it happen in your dirt in real time by your effort now just out of curiosity we're going to go over here and check the back bed which had corn in it earlier in the year and as you can see it has mixed greens now and i haven't done anything to these greens they've been here since last fall so i mean Look at that. Look at that. Look how dark and beautiful that is. Oh, I love it. And if I remember correctly, I think this portion of the garden has been tilled one last time than that. I think it's that's been broad forked and tilled twice. This has only been done once. Where this was added last year. Yep. So... So that's one year's worth of applique, well, broad forking. And compost and mulch. Compost and mulch. That's, and rototilling last year. But I feel pretty safe in saying that barring hitting some sort of surprise hard spot, I don't think we're gonna have to rototill this year. No, I don't intend to. All. I don't intend to. Although it is interesting to point out Yes, this is darker than what it was, but this still has more of that reddish brown to it. Than that does. Because that's actually had three applications of compost over the course of three years, I think, because we did that horse compost first. and Hell, I think we did that twice, and then our compost. So No, we did compost of manure, and then we did mushroom compost, and then we did our compost. Now, for comparison for the folks that have not watched all the videos, this is what it's really like. This is our un, unfucked with soil here at Kilgore's Landing. That's all you get. Then he has to stand on it and wiggle it and jump up and down. It's <laughs> you can see just how difficult it is to get these tines to go into the ground here. Yeah, now, just so you know, I currently weigh 402 pounds, so that's that ground is so hard that steel tines with 402 pounds rocking on it took that long to go in. And if he can get it to come up, it'll be a miracle, but we'll see. You see, see how hard he's having to work on that? And see? it comes up in one big divot. One big, huge, red, clay, ugly divot. You could throw pottery out of our backyard. Yeah. So that's what we started with. And all of this. And that's what we've get, we've managed to accomplish so far. Successive broad forking and rototilling at first. I mean, Jesus Christ, you just saw that. But rototilling as long as we've had to. So twice for the bigger part twice once, on the two big squares yes. and once on the corn row here so broad forking and and rotor tilling as necessary there uh numerous applications of compost and mulch and i mean let me see if i can pop this out so they can actually see it's pretty bad your soil yeah see that one big clump it's just a clump <laughs> clay 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 <laughs> that right there sucks nuts is what we start with but with years of, of effort you know like i said bro and working, trial and error trial it's and been error. a lot of trial and error yeah i mean hell we started trying to rototill it i'm was... not going to crank the tiller to illustrate the point but i promise you it was difficult. Tillers bounce off of this shit. It does. We had a guy, it doesn't dig in. It just bounces, skits across the top. We had a guy the with a tractor that he brought in on a trailer and a five-foot tiller attachment on the back. 
and it would scratch one or two inches of the, the shit the grass was growing in and just bounce. So, uh, yeah, little effort, little time, a lot of compost. You can turn shit soil into it's something. shit you that will really grow your food. So anyway, uh, that's the that's the broad forking soil upgrade uh, update here at Kilgore's Landing. Uh, I think we're going to go inside and hydrate and enjoy our day. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching my silly little videos. Uh, please, uh, if you like the video, click the thumbs up there. Uh, like the channel. Click the bell so you get notifications. The shit you're supposed to say when you have a YouTube channel. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Comment. If you have people that are into gardening, pass it along if you think it'll help. If you have people that like to hear, you know, erudite hillbillies carry on at length about important topics while using earthy and salty language. And if you haven't started your seeds, now's the time. It's also time to put out hummingbird feeders. Please don't use red dye hummingbird food just sugar water just sugar water so anyway i'm travis this is heather big fig here to figure around and find out and uh adios from black fig farm more videos and you know adios and happy gardening <laughs>